and awesome is downloaded. And so the OR function gate in function block should work. So we already have the not running and we're gonna use input three enables output two or input four enables output two, right? One or the other. So the thing is doing what it's supposed to do. When input three is true, output two is true. When input three is true, output two is true. Or when both of them are true, output two is still true, right? So there we have the logic or. All right, we're moving forward and let's disconnect. For some reason, I, I lost my setting on my toolbar here. I don't know why that is, but. Okay. Um, so what will be the easy thing to use what we have to build the next logic gate? Like I wanna build the NAND and the NOR gate. That's the one, right? So, yes, that's what you can do that. So <clears throat> I am going to do a little bit of cheating here. I can select this. I can do control copy. And I can do control V. And I have replicated. Make a little space for myself in the whole in the whole arena here, if I can. So, getting things a little bit organized. Indeed. Okay, um, so the tricky part here is we're gonna start repeating the use of some of the variables and that's gonna make it a little, it's a little challenging, but not too bad. So I'm gonna use an add gate. Again, to negate the end and make it an end. And here it is. We can just place it right there and connect up. Uh, and of course, I need an output variable. And I'm gonna need to use a different a different output for the sake of keeping things organized. Um, I'm going to call that man out. Okay, so that's my man out. And I actually can connect this however I want. So I can do this, right? Same thing. And so here, what's going to happen is if we keep using these variables 0, 1, and 0, 2, when they're both on, output 0, 1 is going to be on, right? But output 0, 3 is not going to be on, right? So let's go ahead and run it. So um, this is the NAND gate. All right, let's go ahead and run it. We're gonna compile and download and test out the NAND gate. Oops, enable to uh, variable digital output not used in this diagram. Okay, so I got a little error here. So it's not letting me do it for whatever reason, which I thought I could I could I could use it, but um, it makes sense. You cannot have have two 
too powerful doing the same thing. So, anyways, let's just go ahead and change this. And and use the next one. Okay, and so that should be better, hopefully. And I want to know what I do to build error. Okay, let me see here. This is a program mode. I have no errors. Input one, input two. Uh, the fact that we're replicating the use of the input should not be a problem. And not. I think it was with output one. What was that? This is what it said. This is what it said? Mm -hmm. I don't know why, but. Yeah. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and change this guide then to input five and six. Just to make it clean, we can call this. I don't know why I did mine exactly like how yours is set okay. up and it worked. So. Does it? Yeah. Not input one. <clears throat> And notice I'm using different labels just for the fun. Then input two, whatever works. Okay, so this should work. I don't see any problem. Okay, let's try to download it. Enable to download version due to build error. Connected, okay, that's funny. Okay, variable not used in this diagram. Digital output zero one. Oh, right there, at yeah, the top yeah, right. That's right, we cannot use an input, right? Oh, I see, there was just an extra. Yeah, it's not. It's just an extra one in the, in the air. So that's actually a good, a good error message, right? Should give us, so everything else should have worked fine. We have seen that before, right? Yeah, I did did it exactly yeah, like yours. That we were saying. Mm -hmm. But my, I might still. Like it just not overlook. That's a good point right there. You might have blocks behind blocks, and you could be having that error that I pop up twice. Yeah. Uh, and if you don't see it, it's going to be giving you a little trouble. All right, testing on the NAND gate junction logic function. It should do what it's supposed to do. By default, that output should be on. So, there you go. Output four is on by default, which is what it's supposed to do, right? And when I change input five, that should go. Two. When I change input six, that should go false, right? So it's doing what's supposed to do. So the construction of the NOR gate it's identical. Let's go ahead and construct the NOR gate. Since we're here, so I'm going to copy the OR gate I already have. <clears throat> I need to disconnect. All right, let's build the, the NOR gates system. I'm going to copy and paste. And make sure I don't have anything left out. So this is the the NOR. I'm gonna add on the not gate. Okay. 
Okay, so there is that. Um, we could just change the output in here and that should actually work. So let's call that. Nor out. And we're going to use both inputs to enable the output of the orb and the nor. And that should actually work too. I don't see why not. Did you create a new variable for that one? Let's see, did I do that? I'm sure. For the output, yes, I did. You just did like yeah. a more yeah. output version. Right. Okay. I'm using the same inputs of the OR, but, oh. but the, the output is different. So I want, I want the inputs to control both, but not both should be on, right? So if we look at this one here, um, four and five are on, which is their default state. And we have inputs three and four pumping or and nor. So input five is the nor output. That means if I switch over input three, output two for the word is on. Output two continues to be on, and output five for the north is on, right? So it's doing what it's supposed to do. That's the normal status of the north. Gate. Everything seems to be working. Um, the other two are the exclusive OR gates. And the exclusive OR is a straight forward um, instruction. So if I disconnect, and I build a new block, I just do explore, and it appears right in the library. So I need to remember that. Is this the assignment for this week? Pardon me? Is this the assignment we're doing for the week? Um, you're going to convert a given schematic into function goal. Oh, right? not, not what we're doing. This is just a little tutorial to get you going. Gotcha. And it is um, figure 560 on your textbook. I, want to note that. I, I think I noted it in my announcement. But textbook figure 560, it's a traditional schematic line of logic. And the idea is you're going to create a single file function block to be able to make that work in function block. You're going to use your simulator just like you used before. All right, let's do the exclusive or here. Um, then I'll show you how you can combine this into, into a single as a way of giving you some heads up. So what I need here, variables. There should be a way to call these variables from here, but I don't see it. It used to be something I've seen. I'm going to call this XOR out.
I'm going to use different inputs for this one too. Uh, XOR input one. Another variable. All that XOR input two. And we'll label on this. Actually, let's make it easy. Copy well, and paste this label. And this is for the exclusive work. You guys recall how the exclusive work works? Okay. No equal inputs have to be owned for the output to be owned, right? Let's test this out. Download. <clears throat> okay, and I have another one of those errors. Invalid variable format. output zero seven you guys see anything I'm gonna run here it says invariable invalid variable program oh yeah you got a block an extra block at the top left of your screen oh yeah thank you oh, I'll just keep getting in there they keep popping up there should be a way to clean that empty or those ends but Okay, so for my X exclusive or I'm using input seven and eight. That means seven or eight but not both should enable up to six, right? So seven and eight not or eight. So seven enables up to six. X or eight enables output six, but not both, right? So the exclusive nor is just a, the opposite of that, which will be the next case. So if we want to build that, I'll just copy and paste me this one here. And build the next block. Copy and paste. Let's copy everything. So let's build the X nor to save it. So that's going to be the X more. I tried doing the X block. I'm going to save this file that with a different good. name. I'm going to call that all FBD logic, just for my own understanding. I got them all here. I'm going to show you a couple of 
a little building techniques here. Once I finish this one. I didn't copy the variables. <clears throat> X more in one. X more in two. So building the opposite NOR gate, the negation of the X or I can also just copy the NOT gate right from here. So I can do that. Control C, Control D, and I've copied over. Okay, so I have input nine and ten, and I'm going to change this to output seven. I like to label it X more out. And I should do this, I think. It should be good. Now, it is the case that many times um, the same inputs will enable variable functions on a firm. So I'm going to show you that in a little bit here. In that program mode, 